Hi guys, it's Rachel. Today I'm going to be reading to you the story, Only Say the Word. For several days, Jesus had been on the mountainside teaching people about God's ways. When he came down from the mountain, he entered the town that he often visited. Even though he would have been known around the town for his teachings and healings, it was a surprise when a Roman officer, a centurion, approached him. The disciples were nervous. What did the centurion of the Roman guard want with Jesus? The sun flashed off the centurion's sword, hanging at his side, a reminder of his power and position. But Jesus saw that he clearly was worried. Lord, my servant is lying at home and he can't move. He's in a lot of pain, the centurion said to Jesus. Without another word, Jesus said, I will come and heal him. Now the disciples were stunned. A centurion was asking for Jesus' help. The centurion lowered his head and replied, Lord, I'm not so special. You do not have to come to my house. The disciples were confused. Why was this important man commanding Jesus not to come to his house? The centurion stood straight and said, only say the word and my servant will be healed. I understand that you just need to say something to make it so. I'm also a person who gives commands. I say to one person go and he goes and to another come and he comes. And to my servant, do this, and my servant does it. Jesus was amazed. This man understood who he was. Only say the word, Jesus thought to himself and smiled. Jesus turned to those around him and said, I've never seen this kind of faith in all that I've met. Then Jesus turned to the centurion and said, What you believed could happen, happened. Go and see. And at this moment, the servant became well. Thanks for watching. Today we learned that a high-ranking Roman officer came to Jesus asking him to heal his servant. He believed that Jesus only had to say the word and his servant will be healed, and that because of his immense faith, Jesus healed his servants. Thank you.